Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Miller Family Wine School. If you don't know by now, I am Wes Hagen, your host. I am the consulting winemaker and the brand ambassador for the Miller Family Wine Company. Come visit us over at millerfamilywinecompany.com, millerfamilywines.com, or maybe even more importantly, millerfamilywineclub.com for a beautiful three-bottle subscription service that sends three bottles of delicious Miller Family Wine Company every month your way for under 40 bucks, shipping included. Here we go. Now, today's uh, quick subject is we are going to be talking about how to find wines that I love a million wines, yes, a million different wines are bottled throughout the world every year. I think I did the math where you had to taste a bottle of wine every 30 seconds, 24 hours a day, 365 days out of the year, and you would get about 90% through the wines produced in the world. So clearly, the great thing about uh, tasting and evaluating and buying and enjoying wine is we get to be subjective. Everywhere else in the world, they're telling us, be objective, be scientific. Uh, you know, do the right thing, uh, you know, follow protocol. Well, in wine, if you follow protocol, you tried to drink a million bottles, your liver would be very, very upset with you. And even if you spit those wines, your teeth would probably uh, be, your enamel of your teeth would be destroyed after a couple of days putting that much wine in your mouth so consistently. So boom, we got to figure out how to find the wines that you love consistently. And what I'm going to suggest to you might require a little bit of homework on your part. And that is just in your phone or in a little notebook that you carry with you when you're tasting or evaluating or playing around with wine, I want you to make very, very short amounts of comments on the styles and the quality of wine that you make. You're drinking white wine. First thing you ask, do I like white wine? Is this Sauvignon Blanc delicious? Do I prefer this Chardonnay? Okay, I like Chardonnay more than Sauvignon Blanc. Chardonnay, put it in your book. Now you know you probably like wine, white wines that are maybe a little softer, uh, a little less acidity, and chances are you like a little oak in your wine. So you might wanna write, liked the oak in the Chardonnay. So now we know uh, maybe other sort of full bodied white wines like Viognier, Marsan, Roussel, those type of wines, maybe an oak Chenin Blanc will appeal to you. So you look at wines, maybe you go to Wine Folly, which is one of my favorite educational resources in the world of wine. Look up Chardonnay right there in the Chardonnay chart. If you like Chardonnay, you will also like this varietal, this varietal, and this varietal. So I would say buying, uh, buying uh, Madeline Puckett's Wine Folly book, winner of the 2019 James Beard Award, would be a great way to start. I'm not paid by them, but um, I am a huge fan and use their, uh, use their materials quite often in my education. Uh, the next thing I would do when we move to red, realize that you know if you try Pinot Noir, ask yourself, do you prefer light-bodied reds or full-bodied reds? Do you prefer Pinot Noir or do you for, prefer Cabernet Sauvignon? If you prefer Pinot Noir, you want to look for Gamay. You might want to look for Sangiovese or a nice, uh, a nice Chianti Classico. Again, find the wine that you love and then see what other varietals are made in a, in a similar manner with a similar uh, structure. Do you like wines that have high acidity? Do you like wines with a lot of tannin? Do you like wines with a lot of fruit? So the first thing you have to do is find out what you like. And the most difficult thing is, at first, you're gonna probably prefer wines that are a little sweeter and a little softer. And the funny thing is, is most people, as they become wine geeks and drink much more wine and more expensive wines, prefer wines that are a little more complex, a little more earthy, a little higher in acid and a little higher in tannin, so the wines can age and or you know be decanted and all that good stuff. So number one, try to find the best wines that you love for the least price right? I think that's important, right? I mean, why spend more money than you need to? If you can find a wine that floats your boat for 10 bucks, uh, why would you pay $20 for a wine of similar quality and uh, expressiveness for your palate? So the key is, as I always look for, a great way to do this is go online, find some, a good critic, good blogger. I read uh, like Tom Wart's fermentation blog or any of the other blogs. Look for my favorite 20 wines for the money, something like that. And then look for uh, sommeliers or wine educators that give full lists of the wines that they love, the prices, maybe uh, the best value wines, maybe t pick 10 of those, go through and taste them. And then believe it or not, us, you know, our winemakers and wine educators, we love to get email. You might want to send uh, the person who made your list. Hey, I tried that, you know, Jay Wilkes Pinot Noir 2018. It was so fruity and effusive and delicious. I loved it. And they'll come back and say, hey, maybe you want to try a Bon Climat and Coupe and some other wines from the Santa Maria Valley. So uh, think about the style, think about the grape, and think about where the grapes are grown. Find the wines you love. You're going to have to maybe taste the wines you don't like to get to the ones you do. And once you get to the ones you do, Feel free to email me, whagen at millerfamilywines.com, and I would be happy to go through uh, a couple of wines that I think that you would love to. So stay in touch, 
go check out millerfamilywines.com and we'll see you for the very next episode of, uh, of uh, Wes Hagen's Miller Family Wine School. So thanks for being here, guys. Hope you learned something. Cheers.